Now for Mike Felt. Sometimes it can be so simple. Reverse the ball. Ooh. Bader gets it to go and one as Jordan Auburn took one in the chops and also got the foul. Wow. I don't like to throw around my opinion too much, but uh, I, you didn't go see, right ahead. I didn't see what was wrong with that uh, position by Auburn. And once again, I couldn't see the restraining uh, restrictive line, but uh, he looked like he had everything square and set and took it pretty much right in the chest. Well, we've had North Coast State up here twice now. We had the Fresno State game, which they was similar to this one, actually. They, North Coast State played very well in almost every aspect of the game. And now here, if you'd only see these two games, you would think this is one of the best teams in the country, and maybe they are, but. Right, and I mean, once again, it all comes back to their age, their youth, their experience. Um, and it's easy to get on a roll like this at home, but once you go out on the road and you play conference games on the road, they can get ugly in a hurry, and teams are gonna try and control the tempo against, uh, tempo against the Bison because they do like to get out and run. And they're looking to score more points this year than they have in the past because Saul feels like he's got the athletes to do it. And they've definitely shown their balance tonight. Bison averaging 73 a game coming into this one, giving up just 62. Just those little things against the zone. You see Felt up there pass faking, making the zone shift without even moving the ball. Boom. Yeah. That's a great find by Zastro. Solid, steady backup point guard. Knows what it knows what his role is. And he switch of the hands for Lucas Perry. His first field goal, though. He's averaging about 12 a game. He's got four. Just an incredible shooting night, though, for North Dakota State. They're shooting at 63% right now. And that includes 11 of 18 three-pointers. Uh, I just look at how clean the looks are. Guys are able to rhythm step right into it. Now he's got a heat check. Oh, my goodness. Mike Felt feeling it. Four threes here in the second half for Felt. He is the Bison Sports Arena co-holder of the most threes made in a game. He hit eight of them here. And I tell you, you get a couple clean open looks where you get a rhythm. It's a little bit easier to rock into a tougher contested one. That had some depth to it, too. Three or four feet behind the line. I, just, I really enjoy watching the Bison offensively. They do such a nice job of sharing the basketball. All the guys understand what their strengths and weaknesses are offensively, and they stay away from the bad things. And uh, I just love to see a team that plays together. And NDSU does it as well as anybody on both ends of floor that I've seen this year. Been really impressed with their defense tonight. Travis Bader, one of the best three-point shooters you will ever see, has not hit one tonight. He's 0 for 4. He had eight of them against the University of South Dakota in that conference opener. Right, just compare the looks that he's gotten as compared to the looks that Felt has gotten. So Felt does his job. Sits down with 14. Another buys an assist. That's their 21st assist of the night. Auber gets the basket. Right, nice minutes by Zastro. Good read and reaction on the pick and roll. <laughs> Hamilton back off the bench and a Oakland foul. It's only their third foul of the half. You were wondering how I could be in the top ten in attempts but not in makes with three pointers at NDSU. <laughs> that, was in I, that was in one season, right? <laughs> yeah. Because I was stuck with shots like that. I was always the safety release valve and had to jack them up late in the possession. Never got clean looks. Foul on Hamilton, his second, just the fourth team foul, however. There is the incredible shooting night for North Dakota State. Makes you look pretty good when you shoot it that well. They were at 59% at halftime. You thought it was going to come back to earth, but they are on easy pace here to hit 100. As a coach, you're always pessimistic. You see you go 5 for 10 from the 3 in the first half. You're like, uh, we're going to go 2 of 10 from the 3 in the second half. Always got to imagine the worst. <laughs> Here's 
Grizz trying to pile up some fouls here. I don't not going to make a whole lot of difference, though, once we get down to the final couple of minutes. 27-point lead, but a five-second call. 17th turnover of the night against North Dakota State. A closer game, I would expect uh, Saul would have called a timeout there. And with a 27-point cushion, you can afford to sit on your timeouts. Just keep focusing on using clock and making Oakland work for everything. Good recovery. Good recovery by Auburn. Heady play by Mike Felt. Trayvon Wright just rising and hanging. And he's got 15. Goes up, took a sip of water, took a look <laughs> around, decided to shoot it. 15 for Wright. 21 for Taylor Braun, who has not had to do much here in the second half. Look at Zastro going after it. Mike Feltz got 14, make it 16. Great minutes for Zastro. He's influenced two baskets. Good hustle play there. Created another one for Felt with his hustle. Dylan Hale came from behind on the block of Petros. We'll take another look as we go to the break here with three and a half to go. 92-61, North Dakota State. When you have a bright idea, how does it get bigger, better, become a reality? With NPNet, the Northern Plains Network from Midcontinent. It's the region's most reliable, expandable 100 gigabit network. Always monitored, always ready. Thousands of miles of regional fiber optics connected to networks spanning the nation. NPNet is the bright idea that will turn your ideas into reality. Count on it. Hey there, created another one for Felt. It is also. Mr. Defense, Dylan Hale for North Dakota State. I'd have liked to have seen if. Uh, if Dylan didn't get that, if Trayvon was, gonna, right was there too, yeah. gonna pin that thing against the glass. Reggie Hamilton on 24 points right now. Hoberg in there. This is Nate Zastro. Along with Mike Felt, Eric Carlson back in for North Dakota State as well. And Auberg inside. Grizzlies back to the man-to-man. -man. Look at Zastro again. Hamilton. Oh, that was Lundberg, my bad. That did not look good from... That is from this angle. Nate Zastro is on the floor. Summit League games tonight going to overtime in Vermilion. South Dakota State, large win as well tonight over IPFW. IPFW comes in here on Friday night to take on the North Dakota State men. And Oral Roberts trying to get a win at Missouri, Kansas City. I'm no sports trainer. So it looks like they're checking his knee. Valentine, I think, is a player that came down on top of Zastro. And from this angle, it looked like his knee was just in an awkward position. And he had that extra weight. Oh, that's hyperextended. Oh. Had that happen before. That's extremely painful. Usually not a season-ending injury unless there was some ligament damage there, but it looked like it was just a straight hyperextension. But with that extra weight on there, hard to predict.
And obviously the thing you worry about is ligament damage, whether it's ACL, MCL, the things that, you know, could end a young man's season. So hopefully it's just a hyperextension. Be yeah. sore for a couple days, but uh, should be back on the floor. Yeah, you're right. You don't see that injury where it's just all that weight coming down on yeah. top of the, the thigh and the knee like that. But that was see if Zastro can put any weight on it as he goes back okay. toward the bench. I was scolding Lindbergh for not boxing out, and that's why he got hit in the face here. Zastro was doing the right thing and was boxing out. Fred Newell comes on for the first time tonight. Here's Matt Pochis, a freshman, backup point guard. Lucas Perry for three, and that's his first three of the night. He's got seven points all here in the second half. North Dakota State's season high this year is 98 against Nebraska Omaha. Fred Newell would have been a long two. And there's Carlson trying to rip it out of there. These are important minutes for Eric Carlson. You just can't simulate game time and practice and you just can't duplicate the reps that you get in the game. So regardless of whether it's garbage time or not, these are valuable minutes for him to be out on the floor getting his feel back. Bass fouled by Newell. Well, Juno, this is an Oakland team that has dominated the Summit League the last two years, 34-2 and two in the last two Summit League seasons. The only team that beat them was IUPUI in the last two years in league play. So they have beaten North Dakota State four in a row before this one. They got a six-game winning streak against South Dakota State, six-game winning streak against Oral Roberts, some of the best teams in the conference. So, yeah, this I, I, I can guarantee you this is a foreign feeling for Coach Campy with the success that they've had. Um, but it's also a kind of a statement here by these young guys at NDSU that uh, people better take them seriously this year, that they, they're not just a young team. They got the ability to be pretty good. Yeah, you hear some talk about a year away maybe for NDSU, but they start four sophomores and a freshman and Eric Carlson. I guarantee you that uh, Eric Carlson's not thinking we're a year away, you know. Those seniors, they want to win this year. They'll cheer for the guys next year as well, but. Go on, go on. Auburg, up and under, Sikora. Six points for another sophomore, Jordan Auburg. There's that little extra half step you get when you have good footwork and fundamentals in balance. Able to reach out, extend past the defender. Well, the lead never got under 20 here in the second half. You know, it was 50 to 30 at halftime. Foul on Auburn, but it never got under 20 here in the second half. Yeah, and that's just, I think a lot of that's due to NDSU's discipline on both ends of the floor. Hamilton got hot for a stretch there, but everything he had to do, he had to work for. He didn't have any easy looks. Yes, he made him work for all of his baskets, all of his looks. And then they were so efficient offensively. It's just tough to, uh, if you can't get stops, you can't make a run. And Oakland just was unable to get any stops consistently. NDSU is shooting at 65.5%. There again, maybe another rusty reverse for Carlson. And Sal's got to be happy with the number. I set the number at 65 before the game with a plus or minus of 10. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, he's got to be happy with his defensive performance tonight from his whole group. It wasn't just one guy. All five guys did a nice job of playing their gaps. Oh, my. Sorry. Well, this is Aubrey again the second time that he has slipped over to that same position and been called for the block. I hate to be a homer, but yeah, he was outside the restricted. Oof. It's one of those ones you just slap him on the backside and say, good job, you did your job. 